The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. That's a quote from Jean Genot, a French writer. Well, that's a very interesting statement because that's what I'm trying to do in the game. How's it going, everyone? I'm Captain He. Hope you're having a great uh, Sunday here and you're all happy and content. I I know I am. Um, I, uh, today is part 13. Yes, the dreaded number. 13 of, of, of my playthrough of Detroit Become Human. As you can see, I, I had, uh, I, I had quite a, a different kind of outcome. Um, um, that I want to, 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 um, do. I, I thought I was going to go if for If you find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. Wait! Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. Yes. As you wish. But I... I want... I... When I did my own playthrough, I did a, a peaceful uh, approach. And this playthrough, I wanted to try and do something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more. Forceful. Anyway, let's see where this all leads. Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. 
I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I, instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color, but I know part of me is in you. When the world falls in the darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, They'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? This morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities, to contain and destroy them. 
I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please? Please? Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! Madam President! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Please. A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Thank you. That will be all. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Freedom or death? Freedom or death? Attack! They've regrouped. They outnumber us. 
us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. It's over, okay?
my signal. Now! In position! But we can still get out of here. If you surrender now, we will not shoot. It's our last chance. We need to decide if it's a price worth paying to save our lives.
There has just been an explosion in Detroit. We still do not know what caused it, but we will... We have many unconfirmed reports, but we have no official news on exactly what it is at this time. Explosion in the south of Detroit. We still don't know if there are any victims, but these events may be linked to the Android Rebellion currently taking place in it's the city. a dirty bomb, Madam President. My God. And the authorities have ordered the immediate evacuation of the city. If it really is a dirty bomb, then the radiation levels will be lethal for miles around. Detroit. Detroit has just fallen into the hands of the Android Rebellion. This is a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. Today, deviant androids triggered a dirty bomb in Detroit. This bomb released fatal levels of radioactive, toxic waste. To ensure the safety of the population, the military is evacuating all civilians within a 50-mile radius. The city may remain uninhabitable for decades. This is the first time in our history that one of our cities has fallen into enemy hands. We are going to fight them with all our strength, and we won't rest until we have taken back control of Detroit and destroyed the last of them. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. We! May God bless you all. Are! And may God bless the United States of America.
you want more more about what I do um on Twitch there'll be a link below to my tw my Twitch page I broadcast every single day um Somewhere between 10.30 and 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, with that all said, please have a great day. Enjoy the playlist of this game. And just know that there will be more great games that I have got. Yeah, have the opportunity to to showcase here on my YouTube channel. But I, but they will be coming here to the channel here very soon. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, see you later. Oh. I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow with a, another new game. Bye for now.